Um, I'm Aldo Rossi. I'm Trevor Hahn. And uh, we conducted an experiment to see whether caffeine had an effect on the heart rate of a Daphne and Magnus. Uh, just to give you a little introduction about Daphne, like Malik said, they're water fleas and they usually live in bodies of water, such as ponds, um, rivers, and small lakes. And the reason that we use them in our experiment is because they're transparent and they're easy to see through. And so you can see their heartbeat. You can see their heartbeat with a simple microscope. Um, our null hypothesis was: Does caffeine increase the heart rate of Daphne? And so um, our null, or sorry, that was our question. Our null hypothesis was: There's no significant difference between the number of heartbeats of a Daphne per minute in a natural environment and in an environment where caffeine is present. <coughs> And so the way we went about doing this was we separated Daphne into two groups, each with um, 20 Daphne in each group. And the first group um, was in subject to just their normal environment, which was the water that they came from and the, and the beaker that Dr. Andrew gave us. And the other one was in a mixture of 0.1 uh, milligram per milliliter of Mountain Dew. And you put them in the slides, like Malik was saying, you put them in the slide, the slide cover on so that they can't move, and you examine their heartbeat. And we counted their heartbeat for every 30 seconds and then doubled it to find it per every minute. And we have a video here to show you what this looks like when you actually see it underneath the slide. You can see their heartbeats. So you can see there towards the left, near, the, near its back, that's the heartbeat. And so we count that for 30 seconds with the counter and then double that number to get it per minute. And we repeated that for every, for the 20 Daphne of that group. So the next step was uh, we then decarbonated a sample of Mountain Dew and diluted it to 0.1 milligrams per milliliter. And uh, we then repeated the steps in the first part of the procedure. And um, so, uh, but we first put the Daphne and the sample of Mountain Dew so that it could uh, be in that environment first. And so um, then they can examine it under a microscope and count on the beats in 30 seconds and double it to find it in a minute. So some of our results here, um, the most important thing to look at is the means. And the means for the Mountain Dew was 263.45 and the mean for the water was 288.2. Um, you can see that the water, the average heartbeat was higher than the Mountain Dew. And this is so um, here's the graph that shows it more clearly how much of a difference there was in the environment of, in the normal environment with water and the environment with the Mountain Dew. And um, the air bars are show the standard air in each data set. To see if our difference in means was statistically um, important or not, we first ran an F-test to see if our samples were of equal variance. And our p-value to f-test was definitely less than 0 0.025, and so then we knew that they were unequal variance. So then we ran our t-test using unequal variances, and we found that it was also less than 0 0.05, meaning we failed to accept a null hypothesis, which means there was a significant difference between the heart rates of the daphnia when they're in the water compared to as when they're in the water. And once again, according to our results, the heart, the heart rate lowered when we used the caffeine, and it may not have uh, raised, but it was higher than the caffeine when it was in the normal environment. And we have some reasons for this. Um, so um, other studies showed that the caffeine should raise the heart rate of the Daphne, but ours seems to do it differently. And uh, we have two theories on why these results are not the way they should have been. Um, we think either the caffeine escaped in the decarbonation process of the Mountain Dew, because we did it was kind of rough when we actually had to like take all the carbonation out or else it would kill the daphnia so that caffeine might escape during that part of the experiment. Or um, other ingredients in the Mountain Dew can <coughs> cause a negative effect on the heart rate. And we think it's because studies showed that sucrose can uh, lower the heart rate of daphnia because it's, it's too thick and it's not healthy for the daphnia. And so sucrose is a very uh, high ingredient in the Mountain Dew. So uh, this could have also lowered the heart rate the Daphne when it was in the Mountain Dew sample. These are some of our sources, including the effect of caffeine and the effect of sucrose on 